How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to jump on here really quick and give you my thoughts on the Satisfy Stuff Grip for the Steam Deck. It could be the Steam Deck OLED, it can be the Steam Deck um, OG version. And I've had it for about two months now. At first I was on the fence about it mainly because of the price. I'll admit it is, you know, pricey going for $69.99 or $74.99, something like that. I think there was a sale that I caught at the time. But I'm confident to say that it's worth it, right? And so what this includes, this bundle right here, because you can get the you can get the stealth grip on its own without the cover and all the extra add-ons for 50 bucks but i'll go ahead really quick and i'll talk about what's included in the bundle so the first thing is obviously the stealth grip then you got the stealth grip cover then you have the rise pads which are actually pretty cool you also get a premium tin case you'll get a screen protector the stealth glass pro and the silicone risers that go on the back buttons, right? And so, um, Satisfied, who has a great reputation for making ergonomic accessories, I guess, for handhelds like the Nintendo Switch, I have that one as well. Um, you know, they made this, and so as a former customer, it was kind of, um, you know, I was really eager to try it, and so. Um, by the way, this is not sponsored. I bought this out of my own pockets, my own money, that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, these reviews is just simply just giving my thoughts and that kind of stuff. So this is the cover, right? And so you'll see that with this, you, you have these big um, kind of very spacious slots for the joysticks. And I actually really like this because sometimes you'll have cases or other things that push down on the joysticks that can met and damage them um i don't know and somebody can tell me in the comments i don't know if the steam deck has um hall effect sensors but um, i don't think they do right and so you want to avoid that stick drift that comes through time even though the steam deck is very um customizable and and moddable and all that kind of stuff i'm not the guy that goes in and, and tears it apart and changes things i don't really do that i don't really like messing with that stuff um so i like that but um yeah this thing is very durable and this is something that only comes with the bundle and so to take off the cover you just see you see the slots for the cover here but you basically just push up it's really easy you just push up and it comes right off so, boom, and this is the cover on its own. It's very light. It's very light, but it's really good quality, if you know what I'm saying. So, and then you have the stealth grip itself, obviously. Um, hopefully you guys can see that, but it says satisfy here. Um, there you go. There's that good zoom. Um, <laughs> so, I have one of the rise pads on it. And I actually really like these rise pads because it just gives the joystick a completely different feel than normal. On this one, I just have the Skull Candy one. Um, I actually really like the Skull Skull Candy Skull and Co. I actually really like the Skull and Co. Um, grips, and you can get these on Amazon for like ten bucks. Comes with like four of them, different heights. Um, but these, you know, they have some more material onto them and and um they're really nice you know the taller ones i had them on and i took them off just because i'm not a huge fan of like the super tall um i don't really play shooters on the steam deck i play that on you know either console or pc um like a desktop laptop whatever um the body itself is super durable like this thing, I've, I'm pretty confident that if I drop it, it's with the cover on it too, of course. If I drop it, that, um, you know, it nothing's going to happen to it. So, um, 
The silicone rise pads here are really, really nice actually because what happens is once you put on the stuff grip, now the back buttons become kind of buried and synced in, if you will, right? It's, it's harder to press them. They're like deeper in because the case gives it its own kind of mass, its own body to the, to the Steam Deck. And so having these rise uh, silicone rubbers gives it a nice, you know, kind of more ergonomic, more accessible, easier to press sort of thing. And so um, these are actually really nice. And um, I just hope that because they're kind of like a sticky material, you have to unpeel it off and then put them on. I hope that if I have to take it off one day for whatever reason, or that if it comes off on its own, that it doesn't leave this sticky, nasty residue, right? But that's what it is. The feel, so this feels really nice, right? Like, it just gives it an extra kind of, I don't have my original Steam Deck, it's somewhere over there, but it gives it a nice kind of like size, right? So you have more. The Steam Deck on its own is already comfortable, but with the stuff grip, it just gives it a nice kind of, um, just a way different feel to it, right? You have more to hold on to. So that's, that's, you know, that's something that caught my attention with the stuff grip. Um, it does kind of have this kind of really light sandpaper sort of feel, right? So like after a while, my hands kind of do get irritated and and my hands start to sweat on this too right so um, that's something that is interesting but yeah I, I necessarily I don't know how to feel about it because it's not all that comfortable after gaming for long periods of time but either way it doesn't stop me from wanting to game with this it's actually really nice from a quality of life perspective if you are the other thing that it includes is this premium tin now i'm not a big fan of extras you know i don't i didn't need a tin i didn't want something um like this but i mean whatever you can put your steam deck in there and you're good to go you can put it in there if you want i'm probably never going to use this but um it also comes with the screen protector as well, so that's pretty nice, pretty dandy. I'm probably not going to put it on just because I take care of my stuff, and um, yeah, so there's also mixed, um, you know, there's mixed opinions on if a Steam Deck even needs a screen protector. Um, I know for the original, the 512 gigabyte original Steam Deck, they recommend against using a screen protector, but um, I don't know. Don't really care, don't really know. Um, and yeah, so wanted to make sure I covered everything. So the stealth grip, the stealth grip cover, the rise pads, the premium tin case, the screen protector, and the risers. So for $69.99, is the stealth grip worth it? I say yes, if you are somebody that is like me and likes to take care of their tech, you know, this thing is not cheap. This thing is actually pretty expensive. Um, what, 600, 700 bucks, whatever. Then I say get it for sure. Um, and yeah, I mean, if, if, if that's something that's important to you, definitely do it. Is it worth it? Yes. Who is it for? Somebody that wants to keep their hardware in the same condition that they received it in for a very long time, right? So if you see collectors, people that hold on to their stuff for, for years and years, and it's in beautiful, flawless condition, this will help you do that. Obviously, there's wear and tear and things like that, but this thing is definitely worth it. Um, we know that there's a lot of, like, knockoffs and, and you know, kind of... There, there's a lot of cheaper options out there. So if you go on Amazon, you can definitely find something that is perfect, will get the job done, and everything like that. 
and yeah you can do that too i mean for example with the rg ally i got this on amazon for like 30 bucks and i'm pretty sure you know i paid extra for the branding but this is very very similar it has the same feel literally the same feel as that but it has a kickstand which is really freaking nice um i wish that the stealth grip had a stand um but it doesn't it would be nice if it did i'll be honest but yeah i mean there's a lot of a lot of cheaper options out there and this is almost this is the exact same thing great material all that kind of stuff and yeah so but if you want that satisfy you know material if you want that good customer service this also comes with a three-year warranty by the way then i say go for that a lot of times with places like amazon you're buying you know chinese products um and by products i mean chinese brands because a lot of stuff is made in china and um you don't really get the benefit of things like warranties and and customer service and that kind of stuff so you know that's a whole other thing right there but uh yeah guys i appreciate you watching tuning in and follow if you like this if you want to connect put in your steam username in the comment section below I'll definitely add you guys. I'm always looking to connect with new gamers, um, people that like tech. And yeah, until next time. Peace.